Hello there, my fellow fans of oversized weaponry, and welcome to another episode of the Space Marine Armory. The iconic weapon we're gonna talk about today is none other than the ubiquitous chainsaw. Like other weapons I've talked about, and will talk about in this series, it is not a 100% exclusive weapon to the Space Marines. In fact, it is used by other races as well. But if you're a filthy heretic in 40k, you're more likely to get killed by a space marine with a chainsaw than anyone else with a chainsaw. Today we are going to see what these interesting weapons are, how they work, and some Imperial variants of it. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The chainsaw is the preferred close combat melee weapon of many military forces in the Imperium. It is essentially a sword with powered teeth that run along a single edged blade, like that of a chainsaw. Many versions of the weapon make use of monomolecularly edged or otherwise razor sharp teeth. Chainsaws are not subtle weapons, and wielding one is a statement in its own right. They are horrific tools of war, designed to bite, tear, and eviscerate, where more primitive blades simply cut and slice. The weapon makes an angry buzzing sound as the teeth spin around, intensifying into a high-pitched scream as they grind into armor. It is not unlike a modern chainsaw, but lighter and able to be wielded in one hand. It is often used in conjunction with a last pistol or a bolt pistol. Among the endless armies of mankind, the ubiquitous chainsaw has found a home in the arsenal of many Imperial Guard officers and commissars, as well as serving as the weapon of choice for countless warriors among the Adeptus Astartes since the ancient era of the Great Crusade. The weapon sees action in all forces serving in boarding or assault parties, such as Space Marine Assault Squads, Chaos Space Marines, and Eldar Striking Scorpions Aspect Warriors. The Chainsaw has also been seen in action among Imperial Pirates and Rogue Trader Captains. In alien hands, chain blades take more exotic forms, despite obeying the same function. An Orc Chain Chopper will have none of an Eldar's Chain Saber's bonesung elegance and little of the reliability of a space marine's mass-produced weapon, but it will still carve flesh and shed blood with the same eagerness. Like many examples of human invention, the Chainsword's many variants seem to have their roots in the shrouded heresies of the Dark Age of Technology. Accordingly, it saw consistent use in the armored fists of techno-barbarians in the Age of Strife and even among the Emperor's own armies during the Thunder Warrior's brutal conquest of Terra. But chainswords have been wielded by inhuman hands for eons. Several Xenos races borne such blades into battle, even when mankind was still cowering in caves. Tech Priest Foundry Masters have speculated down the centuries that it is simply a natural evolution of the sword's design. From bronze to iron, from iron to steel, from steel to chain teeth, and from chain teeth to a weapon reeved in an energy field, like the Imperial Power Sword. But doubt does remain. More than one Martian Magos has devoted their life's work to researching the primeval origin of chain weaponry, most likely the result of inspiration stolen from an alien race in a war that may never be remembered. If this theory ever bears fruit, it is distinctly possible that the galaxy's first wielders of the chainsword were jade-clad warriors of the ancient Eldar. Every Space Marine chapter will forge its own blades with subtle differences to those of its brethren, just as every Forge world produces its own tried and tested signature weapons based on its preferred schematics. The most common template for any Imperial Chainsword is the Mark XI Hell's Teeth pattern, with thousands of minor variations in use throughout the Imperium. Chapters such as the Flesh Terrors, the Marines Errant, the Minotaurs, and the Blood Eagles 
have made no secret of their own named pattern chain blades, usually divergent in matters of decoration and reverence. Unsurprisingly, one of the most dramatic imperial variants is also found among the Adeptus Astartes, the so-called Krakentooth Frostblade of the Space Wolves. Despite their relative ease of manufacture, few weapons require as much maintenance as an Imperial Chainsword. Fortunately, this maintenance is of a mundane nature, easily performed by anyone. Replacement teeth tracks are found in vast crates alongside Lasgun power packs in every Imperial Guard drop zone, as well as being similarly stored aboard Space Marine Thunderhawk gunships. The first concern is that even the most well-forged chainsword will blunt quickly when used against heavy armor, especially the dense, ablative layers bolted onto an orcish warlord or the tainted ceramite of a traitor space marine. Chainswords lack the heavy cutting weight of chain axes or their bulkier kin, and are better served cleaving through the joints of heavy suits of armor. Secondly, chainswords are very thirsty weapons. Some variants are much more efficient in terms of fuel consumption, but those that aren't powered by self-sustaining energy generators drink Promethean fuel no differently to countless other low-tech Imperial machines. The final concern is one of skill. Chainswords can throw teeth when they're used in poorly executed parries, slapped blade to blade with other chain weapons, or simply wielded with all the precision of a club. While teeth are easily replaced and repaired, it is not uncommon for battles between chainsword duelists to end with both the victor's and the loser's blades missing several teeth, especially if the fighters wear heavy armor. Orc weapons, especially those with chain teeth made from the alien ivory of an orc's own sharpened fangs, are especially vulnerable to this kind of degradation. Anyone with a modicum of experience wielding one of these weapons knows to parry with the flat of the blade, rather than catch a blow on the toothed moving edge. These issues of durability rarely apply off the battlefield. A hive ganger or sump waste outlaw can own a chainsword his entire life without suffering the same degenerative annoyances as an assault space marine. When used as intended against lightly armored enemies, a chainsword is lethality incarnate. No other blade in existence cuts flesh with the same vicious, ravening hunger as a chainsword. A fighter's strength will add to the blow's devastating effects, but where other melee weapons may rely purely on strength, a chainsword makes for a perfect dueling weapon. Just as effective when wielded with grace and speed over brawn. Just as nothing cuts meat and bone like a chainsword, nothing bleeds like a chainsword wound. Enemies losing arms and legs to these weapons, a practice called limbing by Imperial Guard veterans, can look forward to one of the bloodiest battlefield deaths imaginable. For the second part of the video, I wanted to describe some Imperial Chainsword variants. The Astartes Chainsword This massive weapon is commonly utilized by the Assault Marines. The weapons generally have a flat carapace containing the chain teeth, with only the forward curved section open, where the spinning chain teeth can bite into flesh and bone. The Drusian Crusader Chainsword Manufactured by a variety of forge worlds, these popular weapons are a familiar sight throughout the edges of the sector where memories of Saint Drusus burn brightly. On Drusus' day, many shrines are crowded with multitudes of followers, raising their chainswords or mock replicas in the air, in honor of his works and sacrifice. For those who seek to continue the crusade in the Corona's expanse, the most common pattern of this weapon uses a curved cutlass-like blade. Most are a holy silver in color and favor a large spiked basket god to better smite the unclean Xenos. The Eviscerator Favored by Ecclesiarchy's zealots and witch hunters, the Eviscerator is an obscenely large, double-handed chainsword 
fitted with a crude version of the disruption field generator, more commonly found on power weapons. Although very unwieldy and tiring to use, the eviscerator is fully capable of ripping an armored man in half, or tearing open the most blasphemously corrupted mutant in a single stroke. Even more massive versions of this weapon are also in limited use in Space Marine assault squads. Though similarly unwieldy in combat, when combined with the enhanced might of the Astartes, they are fully capable of tearing apart the hull plating of even an armored vehicle. The Frost Blade Frost blades are potent weapons unique to the Space Wolves chapter, and can carve through the heaviest armor with ease. They usually take the form of a chainsword or a chain axe, though they can exist in the form of any type of Imperial melee weapon. The teeth of these icy chain weapons are always cut from the nigh unbreakable substances like ice kraken fangs or tempered diamond. The unique power fields enveloping the frost blades have a distinctive blue cast. A frost blade combines the best qualities of a chain weapon and a power weapon. Some frost axes have blades of energized diamond rather than chain blades, which gives the weapons the appearance that they have been carved from a single lethal shard of ice. The Gore Prow Pattern this is a notable subtype pattern chainsword known to be utilized by the zealous Firehawks chapter. The Hecate Pattern Chainsword This weighs a full 6 kilograms, but remains a well-balanced weapon, useful in melee combat, that is often used by rogue traders to intimidate foes and mutinous crew members alike. The Hydrofer Pattern Chainsword Sometimes also called a chain cutlass, these short-bladed, curved chainsaws are favored by armsmen crew chiefs for their brutality. Their shorter length makes them easier to wield in the close confines of a starship corridor, while their more compact design conceals two parallel rows of teeth, allowing it to deal greater damage than its size might otherwise suggest. The Lock Pattern Double-Edged Mercy Chainsaw Some of the more maniacal wielders of the chainsaw use custom models with two ripping edges, created by removing the protective carapace surrounding the near side of the weapon. The Mark IId Errant Pattern Chainsaw This is a subtype pattern known to be utilized by the Marines Errant Chapter. The Mark XI Hell's Teeth Pattern This is the most current version of the chainsword in use by Imperial military forces. The Mark XI pattern designed for use by an Astartes is much larger than the one designed for use by a normal-sized human, who is also an Imperial Guard officer. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about chainswords for today. I might also bring this topic back sometime and talk about unique or famous chainswords. Would you like a chainsword of your own? What would you use it for? Let us know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor Protects.